Hello, Timber Creek students. Um, I've had a lot of emails about how to get registered for Green Cord, so I'd like to lead you through how we're going to do that. Um, in any of your internet browsers, um, you need to go to the address x the number two vol.com x2vol. You'll hear me talk about x2vol often, and this is the website that I'm talking about. Um, if you have not already, you will need to join. So click on the join button, please. And you need to choose the first one. We are a registered school, so join the first one. Uh, type in our school name, Timber Creek, and search. Now there are three of them, so be really careful and make sure that you choose the one that says Keller. Now it's gonna ask you to see if the school has started. I have not entered anyone, so you need to um, enter your last name and your student ID. That is your student ID with Keller ISD. I'm obviously entering gibberish here, but enter the stuff that's yours. Search, and it's not gonna find you. So you will need to enter your information here. Um, notice this is just verifying that um, you're old enough to do the program, I believe is what that's doing there. Uh, select your gender, your address, it would be really helpful to me if you would put in a um, just like a headshot so that when I'm going through here, I, it'll help me memorize your names. Um, if you need help with that, let me know. Uh, if you'd like to put any of these, it doesn't. Uh, the only thing that's required is your home phone. I highly recommend that you um, enter your email address. Now, you can enter your own personal one that you check the most, or you can do... Um, your school email, whichever one you are going to check because it's going to be one of the two ways that I am going to um, get a hold of you. Okay, so once you have that entered, proceed. It's not going to let me proceed because I have all this um, stuff. But go ahead and finish filling out the um, next couple of pages. You're going to come to a page that has a lot of sliders about your interests. We don't really use that at Timber Creek, so you can kind of fly through that and hit join. Okay, when you get into the page and you've created your account and you need to log back in, okay, so just going up here to the login screen, enter the uh, username, which is going to be your email address and whichever password you chose for yourself and sign in. Okay. So when you get logged in, you're probably going to have a big red bar up here at the top that says, caution, you need to be verified by a campus administrator. I usually check x 2 three to four times a week, so, or excuse me, three to four times a month. So if it doesn't happen immediately, that's okay. You can continue logging hours. Um, I'm not in this often. Um, like I said, about once a week is all, so don't panic if it says you're not verified for a little bit. Okay, the first thing that I need us to do is to go and get uh, joined in the green cord group. So I need you to hover your mouse over group and goals, and I need you to do a group and goals search. Okay, if you don't see green cord 2018-19 here, and you could just click join, if you don't see that there, then in the search bar, search Green Cord. And you should see Green Cord 2018-19. And you need to click that green button to the right. And voila, you have two groups automatically assigned to you. You've got Green Cord Community Service and you've got Green Cord School Service. Okay, those are automatically um, given to you and I'll explain the difference here in just a moment. Okay, now that that is the case, I want you to go back up here to your dashboard. That's your home page. Everything is good there. Okay, so let's talk about what you're seeing here in this dashboard. The first thing that I'd like to draw your attention to is the bulletin board. Please check that often. If I have any information that I want everybody at Timber Creek to see, then it'll be here. If you're looking for a brochure with all the details, click there and it should bring up a PDF. Uh, feel free to print this, or I do have some outside of my door if you wanna get one in August. Um, it has how to get, um, 
in contact with me. It has the green quartz summary, um, how many hours you have to have in each category, what counts as green cord, things that do not count as green cord here um, in Keller ISD, and then a little bit of information about um, how it started, how we define community service for green cord purposes, and which kind of cords you get um, depending upon the number of years that you actually earn it. Okay, so I do recommend reading through that um, pamphlet um, completely before you get started so that you don't have any misconceptions about what it takes to earn green cord at Timber Creek. Okay, so um, you can download that like I said um, and it has my email address if you ever have any questions. Let me plug in my computer here. Okay, so now let's go back to X2Vol. Uh, for me, all I have to do is hit the back button, I believe. Okay, um, again, like I said, I only check X2Vol three to four times a month, so your patience is appreciated, and here's my email address if you need me there. Now, the other thing that you notice are your groups and goals progress. Um, like I said before, you have to earn green cord, um, it's 100 hours in one school year. So any service done from May 1st until April 30th counts toward green cord. Okay, like I said, it has these two categories have to add up to 100 hours. But for school service, you have to have at least 25 hours. So at least 25 of the 100 have to be served within a Keller ISD school or service that benefits Keller ISD. Okay. Community service, you have to have at least 40 hours out in the community, in the world, wherever you choose to do it, but not necessarily tied to Keller ISD. Notice that 25 and 40 do not add up to 100. So even though these bars are gonna fill up, that just means that you've met the minimum. You need to make sure that they sum to 100 hours, okay? A couple of things down here, hour snapshot. This is the number of hours that you've submitted, the number that have been approved. Okay, submitted means num uh, number of hours that you have entered into the system. Uh, the number of hours that have been verified, this is when you do a service event, the person that you did the service with has said, yep, the kiddo did that one. And approved means hours that um, I have gone in and said, okay, you, you did those and now they are done. Um, let's see here. The button that you probably care the most about is up here in common tasks add hours. So go ahead and click that. Okay. Uh, this right here was from a previous thing, so I'm going to delete that. Okay. So here, your screen is going to look like this. Most often, um, sometimes there might be opportunities down here, but I haven't seen too many of those. That requires people in the community adding them, and frankly, we don't have that many people around us that do it. But here, you are most likely going to create a new personal project. So click that blue button. Here's what we need, okay? A lot of people type community service or volunteer in the name. We're all doing community service. So this needs to be the agency or the organization name. So Tarrant Food Bank would be an appropriate title or Miss Cleveland's Classroom. Okay, so the title of the place or person that you're doing the service for. Okay, um, here, uh, stocked, um, stocked shelves, okay, or um, helped file. Okay, I need you to tell me what you actually did for the, uh, for your service there, okay? Um, if you leave that blank and I, have a question about what you actually did, I'll deny your hours, okay? As far as attachments go, this is if you have a business card that you wanna put in there, you have a picture of yourself doing the service that you wanna add. Sometimes agencies like you to fill out paper in their office, and some of my kiddos have snapped a picture and dropped it in there just as um, added verification. I don't need anything there. Down here for interests, 
we don't really use these at Timber Creek. Uh, what these are good for is um, kind of categorizing where you serve most. So if you want to kind of keep record of, you know, you're doing something out in the um, community, like the food bank, you, that would be humanitarian. Or you want to volunteer at your church, that's faith-based. Or you're out helping do a Bear Creek cleanup, that would be environmental. If you want to keep track of that, great. I don't care if you do any of those buttons. Okay. The next best thing, the, the next required thing is the name of the person that you did the uh, service with. If you put their phone number, that's fine, but I'm not going to call them. And you need to put in a correct email address. This contact here will receive a verification email uh, at this address that you provide. Okay. It will go to their email and they have to click on it and say, yep, they did the service. So this is really neat because um, it happens very quickly. Now, a couple of troubleshooting things here. If the person says that they never received an email, then it's most likely in their junk or their clutter folders. So um, ask them to check there. Another thing that often happens is a student, let's say a student does uh, service on a Saturday. I highly recommend either that Saturday or Sunday putting in the event so, and tell the person that the email is coming. Uh, students who do that, um, they seem to get their hours verified more easily. I've had some kids that did service in August and then they wait to put it in until October and the person doesn't remember that you did the service. So as a courtesy to the person that you served with, I highly recommend you putting in your events in a timely fashion. Okay, so I need the name and I definitely have to have the email address. That's what the system is going to send the email to. Okay, so you have to choose a date that you did the service and the number of hours that you served. So maybe you served three hours and 15 minutes, let's say. Okay, reflections, you don't have to put reflections in for me, but this is a really good way to remind yourself of what you did if you're applying for scholarships or colleges or something down the road. Okay, if you did uh, serve on multiple days, you can enter one event, but then at the description up here, I need you to say, um, let's see, on June 1st, three hours. And on June 2nd, I did four hours. Okay, I need you to list out um, each of the days that you worked and the number of hours you worked if you want to log these as one event. That's okay with me. Or you can log it as separate events. I think for the person verifying, it might be easier to do it all in one event. Okay, this is another place that people go wrong. Okay, like I said, since let's say that this is the food bank, let's say that we're creating one there, okay, then um, we would need, so the food bank is not associated with Color ISD, so I would need to make sure to select the community service radio button, okay, whereas if I was doing something like um, Miss Cleveland Classroom, that is associated with the color ISD. So if you were helping me cut um, things out or you were helping me file or you're rearranging my desks or whatever you would do for a teacher, that is associated with color ISD. So you would select green cord school, okay? Next, you have to check the box that says the hours that I'm submitting are accurate, okay? You're not lying about your hours. And then finally, you would hit submit, okay? The nice thing about this is in this section right here, it'll start showing when it was submitted, when it was verified, and when it was approved. Now, when I go in, I have the ability to approve, partially approve, or deny. If I ever deny your event, you might get a little notification saying, Miss Cleveland denied your event. Don't panic. Most often, this is because you've clicked the wrong button of these. And I will always give you a comment saying, please change to Green Cord Community, or please change to Green Cord School. All you have to do is click back on the event and change which button you clicked, okay? If you ever have any questions, please do not hesitate to uh, email me, okay? If you ever have questions about, Ms. Cleveland, why did you deny this? Let me know. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to click on activity log, okay? This is where you will see all of the events that you entered and be able to see exactly how many hours you have. Another nice thing is this up here, official service transcript. This is when you're done at Timber Creek. You can print off every service hour you ever did. And this is so good for applying for colleges or scholarships. So really quick intro to Xuvol. Like I said, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you. Thank you so much.